Mr. H, Mr. H, wait up. I wanted to talk to you about math class. I was kind of confused about the order of operations. I was hoping you could explain it to me one more time. No problem, Victoria. I would be happy to help you out. Order of operations can be tricky. Let me tell you a story. One day much like today some students went to P.E. Now, when you think P.E. you think of physical education. But in math we will think of P.E. as parentheses and exponents. In an equation moving left to right we always do parentheses or exponents first. Okay I will always do parentheses and exponents first. What does that have to do with P.E.E.? Well, let's get back to the story. One day some students went to P.E.E. While playing soccer one of the kids got injured and needed to see the M.D. This would normally mean the medical doctor, but for math the M stands for multiply and the D stands for divide. I see what you are saying. So first I do any parentheses or exponents and then I do the multiplication and division. Exactly, Victoria. But what usually happens when you go to the doctor? Well, Mr. H he fixes you right up. Right, so the injured student becomes as he was before. The A stands for addition and the S stands for subtract. The last two operations when solving an equation. So let me see if I am following the story. A class goes to PEE. While playing soccer a student is injured and needs to see the MD. The doctor fixes up the student and they become as they were before. PEE. MD. AS. You've got it Victoria. This is a different way to remember the order of operations. Go to PEE then see the MD and you will be as you were before. And remember that in this order PEE is for parentheses and exponents. MD is for multiplication and division. And AS is for add and subtract. Try and think of this story when simplifying an equation. Thank you Mr. H this really helped. Now that I have the story straight I will try and take one of these expressions and simplify it. Let's take a look at this expression 3 times 14 plus 6 plus 6 to the second power. The first thing I need to look for going from left to right is parentheses or exponents. Here I see that 14 plus 6 is inside parentheses and I come to it first going from left to right so I will do that part first. 14 plus 6 has a sum of 20. My expression now reads 3 times 20 plus 6 to the second power. Again I will go from left to right looking for any other parentheses or exponents I see the last term of the expression has 6 to the power of 2 which is 6 times 6 the product of 6 and 6 is 36. So now my expression reads 3 times 20 plus 36. I have done all of the parentheses and exponents now I need to go left to right looking for any multiplication or division I see that there is some multiplication left so I will multiply 3 times 20 this has a product of 60 my expression now says 60 plus 36. I see that there is no more multiplication or division to do so now I will look for any addition or subtraction there is some addition left to do. I will add 60 and 36 for a sum of 96. So following the rules from class about PEMDAS I found that my original expression of 3 times 14 plus 6 plus 6 to the second power has a value of 96 that was not so bad I like solving with the order of operations.